Also tonight, Bartlesville students, teachers and parents met to talk about the logistics of a possible suspension of classes come April. They say they want to stand up to lawmakers and show them they do have a voice. News on 6's Amy Kaufman is on the story with the latest. Lashley and Brian, tonight there were more than 500 people at that meeting to discuss the possible suspension of classes, and I couldn't find anyone in that room that wasn't for this plan. In fact, one student that I spoke with told me she still wants to pursue education despite the low teacher pay in Oklahoma. I've seen the impact that teachers can have on students and how it can completely make a 360 on their lives, and I want to be that. Kaylee Cromwell is heading to the University of Central Oklahoma this fall to pursue a degree in education. She feels it's her calling. I know that this is what I'm meant to do, and I know that I'm meant to go out there and help other students the way that other teachers have helped me. Cromwell was one of many students who have continued to stand up for their teachers. As a student, I deserve more. Along with many parents. I will use every platform at my disposal for teachers, for education, for the betterment of our state. And even grandparents because they are tired of watching the system fall apart. Well, I know it's a fine educational system, but it's suffering, like systems are suffering all over the state. PEAK is an organization putting pressure on the legislature, but members never imagined it was going to have to come to teachers walking away from classes. Unfortunately, as we've seen, there has not been anything positive that's come out of Oklahoma City yet. There's been some earnest attempts, and they've gone down in flames. Since this movement has started, many other school districts across the state have already jumped on board, but everyone is there for the same reason to make a change for future generations. There needs to be action. It needs to be soon. Now, nothing was decided at the meeting tonight because it would have to be voted on an official school board meeting. However, the superintendent and the school board said they got some great feedback from the meeting tonight and will continue to follow this story as it develops. Live on the scene on the story in Bartlesville, Amy Kaufman, News on 6.